Hello, my name is Andrea and welcome to today's webinar on the 1.6 enhancements and features made in Evolution. Some of the enhancements in this release are featured in the reports, statement workflow, appointment book and SMS modules. So let's begin by looking at some of the appointment book enhancements. The first of which is DNA appointments. So DNA appointments are now indicated in red font in the left navigation pane. Like so. This view is only visible if you are a provider with an appointment book. A, res a receptionist and a practice manager will not have this view. Also, a new icon has been introduced in the actual appointment book. So I'll just go ahead and open up my appointment book and it's this little icon over here. And what it does is if you have multiple providers opened up like so, by clicking on this button, it closes all the active books at once. The next enhancement occurs around SMS reminders. So we've now added the ability to cancel an SMS reminder for a particular appointment directly from the appointment book. So let's say, for example, we don't want a reminder to go out for our patient, Chris Williams. All we have to do is highlight his name, right click, go into the SMS and you can click cancel SMS if an SMS is sent. Mine's is grayed out because the SMS hasn't been sent, so there is nothing to cancel. For users using SMS, we have also allowed the ability to create staff tasks from an SMS uh, compose. So if I click in the home ribbon and try to compose an SMS, just put a patient up. So what we have done now is allowed a staff task to be generated with an SMS so you can be reminded of the particular message that you've sent to your patient. Also in the patient outbox, we have now included a multi box so you can actually tick all of these boxes and resend an SMS in one go. We've also extended SMS functionality over to the statement workflow module. So that's in your accounts ribbon, statement workflow. And I'm just going to go ahead and open one of the statements that I have. So users now have the ability to send patients their statement details via SMS. So if I just wanted to click on all my patients who had an SMS, I can select either select all and go send SMS or I can untick the ones that don't have a cell phone number, send those ones just by text, print the rest out and so on and so forth. However, to use this functionality, you will need to first create an SMS document and then insert the template into the account group. So to do that, you would have to go into File, Options, Inbox, Outbox, Outbox Document, create your document in here by clicking on the New button. Once you've created your document, you then need to go into Accounting, Account Group, select the group, the type of group that this text message will go to. So this is typically your patient. And under the SMS template, you would go ahead and select the Outbox document you've just created. Because without this, your um, patients will get sent a blank template. The next um, enhancement is a feature a practice manager will benefit from and that's in the claims preview section. So I'll just close these up and go into their claims and preview. So what we've done within the filter claims preview is allowed users to filter out all A3 claims with a zero amount and only have claims with a positive amount showing. So automatically when you run your your claims preview it will exclude um, the zero claims however if you want to include them we have provided a tick box option for you to still have those showing the next enhancements occurs in the new screening entry window so I'll just go out here the patient screening we've allowed 
you now to print off a new screen entry so you can pass this on to the patient if they want to see what their results are how they're tracking you can now do so by printing it off for them the other enhancement occurs within the tools and that's in your query builder so what we've done within the query builder is previously you could only export and in import a single query from your query store we've now enhanced this and allowed you to export a whole folder so if I click on that it will export this entire folder to wherever I want it to go the other enhancement is now we have added a make a patient active icon on the state and this on the view sheet so I'll just run a query for you to show you this So in the data sheet view, if you select a patient, you can, we've added the make the patient active icon, you click on that and it'll put them up on the palette so you can go ahead and do further investigations around that patient from the query builder module. We will now um, look at Evolution's new module called the read audit. Now this module provides the ability to identify read and view access of patient records. This feature will assist with potential privacy investigations or regular privacy audits. However, this feature will need to be added to your role to access it. So first I'm going to show you where you can find this and it's under the help in the logs group. So if I click on the read audit, this is what will um, appear. It'll show you the date and the time as well as the staff member, the patient they were viewing and what screen they were actually looking at. So if you know that the staff Ian isn't supposed to be accessing the daily record of this particular patient, that information will be brought to your attention. So if you do not have this appear in your help ribbon, what you do need to do is go File, Options, Access Privileges, Role, Find your role, so let's say I'm going to add it to the um, practice manager or the clinical manager and in the help under low log, sorry, you'll see re a read audit, you put a tick box in there and you add it over to the selected rights and they'll now have that in their help ribbon. You must um, exit out of evolution for these effects to take place. So the next module that I want to go over is the assistance tool. So what we have done is we've actually added an auditory notification to, a comp uh, to accompany the assistance sent out and this will draw more attention. So when you um, send out an assistance before it used to just pop up on your screen saying um, desk one needs assistance now this will be accommodated with a sound we will now move on to the last enhancement which is specific to the allied health module or product should I say and that is in the so tab so tab console what we have done in the contextual ribbon is to maintain consistency across all modules and to unify all icons into a single place. So we've added the save notes, new consultation and new patient consult all within the ribbon menu so it's consistent with all other modules. We've also enhanced the audit log to capture changes made in treatment analysis and plan. So if you were a provider looking back at your records, so I'm just going to change my patient um, so for example this over here if I double click on this entry I'll be able to click on the audit I'll choose another one sorry I'll click on this one In the audit log you'll be able to see what changes so in the treatment it was changed from stretching strapping to stretching strapping ice pack and elevation so you can actually see what changes have been made
This now concludes the end of the webinar. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you were able to take something away from this. Just to summarize, we touched on enhancements in the appointment book, SMS, statement workflow, claims, and query builder modules. Once again, thank you.